Hello there and welcome to another Minigod 951 3D pixel art tutorial and today I'll be showing you how to make Buster Bunny. Yeah, right, let's get let's get and make this. Sorry I sounded a bit excited there, but I quite like this build. He he looks pretty good. So what we want to do is start off two then have a gap and then another two of white. So then behind that you want to do a two by two square of light blue like that and that'll be the start of his actual feet it's quite a simple model what you can do is then go for the, these bits on the inside here and add extra blocks and then from here you want to go up one and there so that's his feet complete you can bring these up too for now but most of it will be covered with white so what we can do is bring this out here and here and then you want to get your white out and you want to place one there one at the side here one at this side and then I think one at the back so this bit would be filled in with blue and then a white here like so so you should end up with something like that for the base of this model as I say it's quite a simple model it's quite easy to make I mean what we, what we could do here is do a row of three twice so it sticks out one so it makes it look like he's got a belly and then the next row will be in one there like that then what you could do is just fill this all in at the back here because this will all be flat and then at the top here you can bring it out one either side and this will be the start of his hands so you want to go diagonal here and then the same with this one, diagonal here and you can see now it looks like the hands are sitting on the hips of this model so yeah as I say this is this is one of my favourites I've, I've built in a while this one I quite like it, it's called Buster Bunny so if you're not sure just google it and uh, you, you, you'll be able to find a picture of him I'm pretty sure so what we want like that and then from here we can bring this out one this way and one towards back do the exact same here so what we did on this block here two two and then this one would be three uh, row four like that and that's the start of his head then what we want to do is go to the front from here fill this bit in to here so you're leaving the corners empty the next one you can fill in oh, all the way across as well and then for your middle block which is there if it's free either side and then that would be your middle block there yeah so your middle block you want to place a pink for his nose and then with the back you want to just do pretty much the same what you did with the front without putting the nose on it so you bring this all the way across for getting the corners and then this would be a full row of white and then what we could do, we will start, start from the back and do the back of his head. So you want a row here, cutting off the corners there and there. It's a row of five. Then a row of three, but you want that three times. Two, three. Possibly four, but for now we'll stick with three. So we'll come back to the front, and it's time to do his eyes. So what we do is, from here we go up one and then we'll come across and on this we'll do our 2x2 two two square so same with this one so from this block go up 3 and then the top 2 you want to add another 2-2 two two. so it'll look along the lines of that so then what you want is your black and you'll place them here and here for his eyes and then you'll run the blue up the middle here and across like that so it's like a giant T almost so once you've done that you can then fill in this bit here so it comes out like that so it's two rows of five in the middle so you should end up with something that looks like that right so now you've done that the sides are done the hands are done all we've got to do is his little ears and then he's finished so come to the top of his head find this block here and place one and then from here place one and then come out and do a row of three like that in fact we can do it to the side let's do it to the side give it a bit more effect so it's kind of diagonally off to the side there 
and then this one can go, come down one there. You do the exact same with this one, so you want to bring it out diagonal here, row of three, and then down one here. And there we go, oh hang on, almost, almost, we forgot about the side of his head. So these bits here, you just want to fill in with blue, so it goes up to the side there like that. And that is the side of his head complete. Just fill in this here, same as what you did. And there you go. There is your one 3D bunny. I mean, if you really wanted, you could maybe change these to, uh, say, say, wall for now, just to give his face a little bit more definition to to the actual colours of his eyes. So, as I say, it's totally up to you. I, I prefer uh, snow, but it is totally up to you, whoever's building it, what, what materials you use. I'm just giving you the ideas for for it. So we could just fill this all in. As I say, it's just so it, you can get a bit of definition between the eyes and the actual mouth bit itself. Right, we're almost done. There we go. There we go, there is one Buster Bunny. Please leave a like. Don't, ooh. There is your one completed Buster Bunny. I hope you leave a like. Don't forget to tell your friends. Share the video. Help the channel grow. Take care. Goodbye.